Welcome to the Mark Boudelier Show, where we show Johns and sometimes drip. Drip or drown, baby. Drip. Hey, everybody. Yo, where the f is my mic, dude? Give me the f mic, dude, you piece of sh. Oh, man. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It is I, Mark, Mark Boudelier, and today we are going to be talking about flare pants. What are flare pants, you may ask? They're pants with a flare at the bottom. Anyways, if you're new here, hey, welcome. Subscribe. Hit the push notification bell as well so you know when our next video will be. And if you're returning, thanks. Appreciate it. Hugs and kisses. Enjoy this video. If you want stickers, stick around. Let's get right into this. So I'm going to be breaking down everything you need to know about flares, a little brief history, where to buy, the flares that I have in my personal collection, as well as kind of how I style them. So starting with some brief history here, um, flares have been around for some time now. Um, as early as the 19th century, you saw them like used in the Navy. Um, it was more of like a military-ish thing, um, and it was, you know, flares, bell bottoms, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then it wasn't until like the 60s, 70s where it kind of started to be more of a fashion thing. People picked up on it. It was like the big thing. Designers were obviously like seeing that, using that in their stuff as well, as one does. Uh, and then it kind of went away for a little while because everything kind of just circulates. I'm not going to give you like some crazy history lesson because... I don't know that much about history, and I never paid attention in history class. <laughs> Places to buy flare pants, um, obviously for me, I get most of my stuff secondhand, so like I would always suggest thrifting, going like the vintage route. I feel like you can find unique items, you can find more variety, more like different patterns, and it's just more of like a you never know what you'll find kind of thing. Um, some notable brands though to look for like when you're thrifting obviously Levi's has good like vintage pants in general um, Wrangler you can find good like vintage Wrangler flares uh, And others a lot of them are just gonna be random like one-off Vintage labels as I will show you later in this video when I kind of break out some of the ones in my collection But yeah, just to give you guys some other ideas of like where to buy flares um, and brands that I like who have really great flares uh, starting off with Madcap England I personally don't own any from them, but they have very wide variety, lots of different patterns. They're like looking straight from the 70s kind of thing. And um, yeah, I would definitely recommend. The price point is actually pretty affordable uh, in my personal opinion. And like quality seems to be good. I've talked to a friend who owned a pair, uh, owned several pairs actually, and he said that he loves them. So I'm gonna take his word for it. I wouldn't mind getting myself a pair um, at some point just because, you know, why not? And we'll just move right along. I'm going to kind of go from like the lesser expensive ones to the more expensive just to kind of give you guys some range here. Uh, so La Mer, I saw a pair from them that looked really great. Uh, extreme, like kind of almost a um, like exaggerated flare, which is cool. Um, and all of their pants are really cool. Everything that they do is like extremely high quality. So I would definitely, you know, if that's in your range or if you can find a pair secondhand, whatever the case, um, they'll last you forever. So there's that, um, ERL as well. I know when I did my essence picks, I showed a pair of like their orange corduroy ones, but they've done several and they're all super great so i would recommend them as well i also wrote down marnie uh marnie makes just great everything in my humble opinion shout out marnie on the on the on the mules their pants are incredible looking and they are very expensive but that doesn't mean you can't you know do a little window shopping or something that's pretty much it in terms of the best places to buy at least, you know, in my, from my minimal research. Let's go ahead and discuss some of my flares. Um, they're all sitting right here behind me. What's the best way to do this? 
Okay, so first up we have this pair right here. This pair was actually recently sent to me from a brand called Carter Young. They are a small batch brand out of New York and I actually had the pleasure of visiting where they make their stuff when I went to New York this past time. But very lovely color on these. I want to say they refer to them as like a chili pepper color or something like that. Uh, but amazing fabric. It has just this like really deep red color with like hues of like black almost in there. And it's got this huge um, patch on the back, which is pretty nice. There's also just a lot of details, like the button literally has like the name. There's a lot of details on these pants, nevertheless. Uh, they have a pretty nice fit. They are a little bit big in the waist on me. I guess I got like the wrong size or whatever, but I'm going to alter them. And once I do that, they will probably be a pant that I wear quite a bit. Uh, this pair, I believe, is supposed to be a more low rise version. So there's, you know, I usually go for a high rise flare, but I already tried these on and they fit well other than just like getting that waist fixed. So check them out and we will move on to the next one. Levi's, like I was saying, uh, makes some great flares. Usually like the 60s, 70s ones are what you would be looking for. Uh, this is a pair of corduroy flares and they have a white tab on the back as well as what you can look at is the zipper so in this case it is a talon zipper uh, which usually means that it's probably 60s or 70s and yeah they fit great great color you really can't go wrong with the corduroy flare I don't wear these that that much to be honest with you but I found them at a thrift so you can too just you know know what you're looking for and be persistent or whatever and you know you too can find some epic flares the same Levi's flares that I've shown to you guys 30,000 times it's the old green guys right here another pair from like the 60s this one is like a much bigger flare though easily my favorite pair of pants I own uh, it's just like the perfect color green again another talon zipper and there's holes in these there's like they're a little bit shredded but Wow. And I hand altered them and did a really bad job, but I still love these things. And again, another Goodwill find. Next up, this is my most recent pair of flares. They are a little bit long, but part of me kind of likes that. It's this beautiful pattern right here. Uh, they're just vintage. They're not really like a brand that's of any significance that says, let's see, right ever pressed on it. So just be on the lookout for labels. You can kind of tell like how old something is just from like kind of looking at that and researching, but love the pattern on these, love the color on these. And obviously they're kind of the statement pant for an outfit. Here's another pair of Levi's flares. Again, we have another beautiful uh, print or pattern, however you want to say it. Um, great color as well. It's almost like a, uh, like a sage green or like somewhere in that family. It's the uh, Levi's Stay Pressed patch on it. And yeah, these things are beautiful. They are probably a little bit more of a lower rise than the other ones. They're a little bit longer as well, but wow. They are a powerful pant. We're showing another gifted pair of uh, flare pants. This one is different from all the rest of them as they are a cargo pant that just has like a flared leg. So this is very like Vuha Day, I guess, um, being Ken's brand, which is like pretty much a slight flare on a cargo pants, not really the traditional flare, but these are from a brand called Le Jeune. Uh, they reached out to me and sent me this pair. I think they're made out of like a Japanese cotton and they feel really, really great. They're pretty heavy weights. Um, they have, as you can kind of see, like this slight little flare at the leg, which I think is really unique. And frankly, I'm just a huge, like, kind of, like, this is definitely a color that I wear all the time. I love a flare leg. I love a cargo. I love, like, an army green or just, like, any sort of, like, olive green. They're a little bit long, so I'm thinking about possibly hemming, like, an inch or two off the bottom. But otherwise, pretty incredible pair of pants. I would highly recommend, and I can 
put their uh, them and the, the red flares. I can put both of their ats in the description. All right, so we will get to um, how I style these things. So I will probably have already shown some on bodies, um, but since I know I have a bunch of photos of myself wearing these as well, I can go ahead and kind of give you guys some insight as to what I typically would wear with a pair of flare pants. So typically speaking with most of these, especially the exaggerated ones, um, I would go for a tighter t-shirt. A lot of times I go like a full vintage type fit. So oftentimes you'll see like a tighter ringer tee or just a tighter vintage tee as well tucked in to the pants, just a belt either a boot or a loafer, like a chunkier loafer, typically is what works best um, because with it being such a like a large leg opening, you don't really want to necessarily do a sneaker and you don't necessarily want to do like a slimmer silhouette in general. You want something that's going to kind of balance it out. I think like a western boot or like a harness boot typically is pretty a pretty strong look just being that, you know, for me, flares kind of have like a western -y type vibe. Um, especially like the Levi ones I showed as opposed to those blue ones that I feel have a little bit more of a like contemporary look with them being a little bit longer as well. I think they look better with, um, like different, different types of, um, silhouettes on foot. I think you can kind of get away with, you know, like not a Western style boot. You could kind of go for like a Chelsea with that. You could kind of go for more of like an Oxford type shoe in general. Um, or, or I guess I mean like a Derby. You could go for like a derby shoe. Um, you could go like a Doc Martin, like a low top kind of thing. There's there's a lot more that you can do with those, in my personal opinion. Um, and then of course with something like these cargos, there I feel like you could get uh, get away with a sneaker pretty easily because it is a much more casual pant. Um, as well as you could still definitely do like a derby shoe. I think would look really great with that, um, or even just like a very chunky boot. I think the most important thing is just to make sure that whatever you're wearing on foot kind of takes into account how big the leg opening is and I don't know just so you're well proportioned out um, and then a lot of times I throw on the old open jackets over the t-shirt so whether that be a like denim jacket whether that be just like a bomber or whatever else a lot of times the jackets I wear kind of hit at my waistline um, I feel like that's, it's kind of a safe option. I feel like in terms of just like having a good, like cohesive silhouette of an outfit, um, it's definitely kind of a safer option, but it's reliable. It's easy. It's a go-to for me. And if you're, you know, needing help figuring out how to style these things, that would be my recommendation. Um, but of course do what you want. Cause you know, I, I think there's, there's a world of possibilities with flare pants. I think it's just a good place to go if you are someone who typically wears straighter pants or if you're someone that typically wears slimmer pants because typically speaking of flares, slim at the thigh and then kind of gets big at the bottom. So kind of gives you the best of both worlds. But that is all. That is pretty much all for my lesson here with flares. This was kind of a little bit all over the place so if you enjoyed this video definitely leave a like and leave a comment um, that would be super appreciated as well as again if you want those stickers simply dm me on instagram just dm me your address or dm me and let me know that you want stickers and then i can dm and ask for your address whatever you want to do but yeah thanks i appreciate every one of you guys and i hope you enjoyed these crazy flare pants until next time She did from my heart like CD. She she wears reps. She wears reps.